Hi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today we are going to be finally reacting to the official Chucky season three trailer. I'm so, so pumped for this. And I wanted to preface this video, just start off by saying I met the one and only Christy Elise, Kyle from Child's Play of Chucky fame, 90210. I met her so, so, so super nice. She's iconic and she autographed this for me. I'm, I'm just covering up the name, but yes, she autographed this for me and she wrote, don't fuck with the Chuck. So just wanted to show you guys this. I got a couple more autographs too from a couple different people, Shawnee Smith and Tony Todd. So I will display these properly in the background of the videos soon, but today, since we're gonna be watching Chucky, figured I'd show you the Chucky autograph first and foremost. So with that out of the way, I just wanna go ahead and get started and see what this is gonna be about. This is gonna help me get a lot more predictions and theorize a little bit more. So I'm excited to see what this is about and worried for our country because it looks like Chucky is gonna take over as president. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get into it. Bitches miss me? Bitches. Henry, I know moving to a new house can be a little scary. Oh yeah, the president's kid, right? God. What is this music? Okay. Oh. Hey okay now. What the? He got like so buff. What the heck? Come on, Jake. You wanna play? Let's play. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. My fight's a Surprisingly crappy. Here. <laughs> what? Oh my god, Icon! You're not the producer from Dateline. <laughs> Chucky Tucker. What? Caroline. Food over do this. I'm his new friend, WM. Knife drop. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I So much is going on. First and foremost, Tiffany's in jail. Okay, so I'm guessing something happened with Nika where Nika did something and put her in jail or they're able to actually get her. I don't know. So they put her in jail. Love that she thought it was the person from Dateline, but it was actually just Lexi. So is Tiffany kind of just like helpless now? Is that, are we not running with that plot of Tiffany basically mothering Lexi's sister and teaching her to be evil and stuff? Or is Lexi's little sister just actually evil and she was playing Tiffany? Like, I don't understand. Something suspicious had to have happened. Plus, love the science teacher. Love that she's back. We needed her. Society needed her back. <laughs> Let's keep going. That Chucky in the White House? In the White House? That's what I'm saying. He knows where my sister is. We're gonna kill Chucky, guys. <laughs> oh. Again. This is gonna be. They dress like Chucky for Halloween. Love that. Yes. Chuck. I mean, true. I think he found the Oval Office very interesting. I'm so excited. What are you okay. Guys talking about killing people. What the? F Wait, what? Keenan talk. What is Keenan doing in here, bruh? That was so random. So 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 random. I'm like trying to see. Also, too, it looks like they maybe changed the doll design a little bit. I don't know. When he was, let me show you guys in this last frame right here, where he's like about to stab someone. Like this one, he looks kind of like the older one. The way his brow, his frown is, it looks a little bit like the old school one. Maybe like the second or third movie? I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, oh my gosh, so much is happening. I love they dressed up like Chucky for Halloween, like a poor K, huh, in this economy? I'm gonna be using a lot of those jokes, like in this economy type of jokes because we're in the White House now, so it just makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss some theories. So the biggest one that I'm kind of thinking about, I have no idea, first and foremost, how they're going to explain Lane. Also, they showed no Nika in that trailer. I know she's coming back, like surely she's coming back, but they showed no Nika. I just don't know how they're going to explain
explain Lexi's little sister. I mean, the mom died, right? Oh yeah, the mom got like sawed in half in season two. So I don't understand how they're going to explain how Lexi by herself was able to not only obtain Chucky, but also go to DC. I mean, they're in New Jersey. How, how, not only DC, Washington DC, the White House specifically. How did she get her way into there? Does she know somebody? Does she have some sort of connection? How'd she get in there? I don't know. So I have no idea how they're going to explain that. I feel like they'll start off the season, like all these things that happen off screen and we'll have to catch up. You know what I mean? They'll have to explain it to us because they started off this trailer too by showing that Tiffany was in jail. Are we gonna see that? Is Tiffany being in jail like in a way later episode? I don't know. But I know Nika must have has some sort of play into her getting arrested, but I just hope she's thriving in jail. I really do. Tiffany deserves to thrive in jail. People are like, Tiffany's also a killer and also psychotic. Listen, I understand that. However, you have to look at her circumstance, you know? Just re-watch the Bride of Chucky movie and see how much she got screwed over in that movie, okay? Literally and figuratively. Anyways, I'm just so, 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 so excited for this one. I think my prediction is that Lexi's little sister Sister is actually the mastermind. She is the mastermind and was actually trying to like manipulate everyone. I mean, I feel like she tried to manipulate Tiffany for sure. Cause it seemed like she didn't give a rat's ass that her ass was in jail. And also maybe a little bit Chucky, but Chucky also is able to like convince children to kill people. Hence Junior from season one. So maybe that is a little bit different. Their dynamics a little bit different. I feel like she was playing Tiffany though. I feel like any new characters, I don't care if they die. I mean, justice for um, that one girl in season two. I already forgot her name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I cried when she died. Nothing more like that, please, this season. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget how I felt in that moment when that happened. So nothing like that death. Like, don't make me connected to someone and then kill them off. I have a hope that Kyle and Andy will come back. However, I also kind of don't want them to for their own well-being. You know, they they deserve some time away from Chucky and deserve some time to like live their life. Love that Jake and Devin are still together. I kind of forget these people are getting older, these children. I mean, they were like 14 in the first season. So I'm guessing, I guess they're like 16 now, but that's still weird to me. They're still children. I'm like, I don't want to see you guys doing anything weird. <laughs> like, I mean, I hope Lexi is okay. Remember Lexi had that whole drug problem? Oh my God. Well, the last episode of season two, she was in like rehab basically, or like a support group or something so I hope she's done with that if they try to tease us in this season with like maybe she's gonna fall back into it and be like please stop we don't need her to be into drugs for her to be interesting first and foremost she's already interesting enough because she is a baddie and she is realistic and I'm just so glad they're allowed to cuss in this show because Lexi is the main character that should be allowed to cuss you know what I mean so I'm just I just love that for her also where is she gonna be staying her mom literally got sawed in half. Everyone's families are dead. Lexi's parents are both dead. Jake's parents are also dead. And Devin's parents. Where are these children staying at? I didn't even think about that. Where are they staying? Are they all like adopted from someone? Oh, you know what? The teacher maybe. The science teacher. Okay. That's what happened. That's what happened. I'm saying it right now. She took them in under their wing, which basically means that she's gonna die soon. Oh my god. I haven't think about that. If the teacher, the science teacher dies, no. Mm -mm. And she knows something too. I remember in the last episode of season two, she was like, oh my gosh, it was Chucky, wasn't it? And we're like, bitch, how do you know about Chucky's shenanigans? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what she has into play with this. There's so much to be excited for. Someone commented on my last Chucky teaser trailer video that they're only doing four episodes and then they're releasing the next four episodes or the last four next year because of the writer's strike. I don't know if that's true or not if you guys have any more info about that please let me know it might help me be able to upload these within the year so we can actually still watch these together but we'll see honestly it made me a little disappointed maybe that means all of the things that we saw in this trailer will be in the first four episodes so we don't have to wait too long to get those answers maybe and then maybe they'll release another trailer for the last four episodes if that is true if it is gonna be next year so we'll see how that goes 
goes. But do you guys have any more theories, predictions? Let me know because I really want to talk with you guys and see what everyone else has to say. See what everyone's excited about. I am actually like this time of year, not only is it the best because it's Halloween time, but also because the Chucky show comes back and it's just the perfect timing. It's so nice. I want to like rewatch the first season just because it was so fall esque so fall-esque it was it was perfect new jersey the leaves the pumpkin like it was so good oh my gosh i'm like oh my heart it makes my heart full i love it with that said and done i want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially gave up aj mark sylvester jeff griffin james cox keith harvey and jeremy montanez Thank you so much and make sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. Okay, so link for Patreon will be in the description below. I'll be uploading all of my Chucky reactions there first before I upload them to YouTube, like very early on. It probably won't be a while after the episodes come out that I'll actually put them on YouTube. But if you want to watch them pretty much instantly, then Patreon's the way to do so. You can even watch them with the $1 a month tier or watch the full length reaction with the five or 10. So once again, all the information for that will be in the description with that link below so thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey please let me know what you guys think about this new season what are you excited for what do you hope to see what are your theories predictions thoughts opinions i want to know so make sure to like comment subscribe do all of that jazz and as always thanks for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.